So guys, over the last couple of weeks and months, we've been receiving small articles going over things coming in codename Apollo and Behemoth inside of Project Frontiers. Uh, these have been uh, the solo ops playlist for the most recent one. We've also seen Armor 4.0 with its set bonuses and the rework of Armor stats. We've seen uh, weapons being updated with different legendary tiers coming down the pipe. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about one feature that I feel like is definitely needed within Apollo at the very least. That is a brand new subclass. Now we've gotten subclasses in the past and we're going to be going over what we know about the release of subclasses. Kind of paint a picture on how this new one could be introduced. But before we get into it as always if you're going to enjoy this video if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel I would very much appreciate it. And with that all being said let's jump into today's video. So why do I feel like a new subclass is necessary for Apollo? Well we are kind of in that expansion cycle where a new subclass would be expected because they normally do uh, one expansion with a new subclass then they skip a subclass and then the next expansion to follow would bring a new subclass now obviously we did get prismatic in the latest expansion but i'm not technically classing that as a new subclass because it just combined a load of abilities from our past subclasses and brought it into one uh, new subclass in a way uh, but I don't feel like that would have taken the same amount of development time considering the fact that they didn't need to make really anything new apart from uh, the transcendent effects on the character and the prismatic grenades which in themselves were still just based around normal grenades that we had in the game but then had their own effects tied to them. Now obviously I'm not a game dev so I have no idea the development time needed for those things but I'm just guessing that they took less time than a completely new subclass like Stasis or Strand. Now, why do I feel like Apollo needs this? Well, obviously, this is going to be the first expansion in the brand new saga of Destiny, and there are going to be a lot of people that are kind of on the fence about going and playing it. And one thing that's guaranteed to bring excitement levels up and interest up is a brand new subclass. If you look back to the release of Beyond Light, Lightfall, and The Final Shape, all of those had uh, new subclasses. Uh, so you had Stasis with Beyond Light, Strand with Lightfall, and then obviously Prismatic with Final Shape. And all of those did bring a similar level of hype when those subclasses were revealed. If you look back at the reactions to Beyond Light itself, the announcement of being able to finally use Darkness was really, really exciting. Uh, same thing goes for Lightfall. Now, although that DLC wasn't the best when it released, the main good thing about it was, of course, the Strand subclass. It was really fun. Uh, it wasn't as strong as Stasis, so it didn't completely ruin the game, uh, and people seemed to enjoy it a lot. And a similar thing happened with Prismatic. Now, Prismatic itself isn't necessarily the strongest thing in the world because it does take uh, weaker aspects from your already existing subclasses and then just puts them together and creates new ways of playing the game and experimenting with different abilities which is fun uh, but i wouldn't say it's extremely overpowered so they kind of learned from the release of stasis and didn't make it overly strong but also didn't make it overly weak also just the idea of being able to experiment with new abilities and stuff just brings with it a guaranteed level of hype and excitement which i do think apollo needs in order to retain players that are kind of on the fence now some of you are probably wondering why we're even bringing up a new subclass what information do we have to believe that there's a new subclass in development well if we look back uh, before the release of lightfall there was this video shown of some guy i believe he was showing off uh, some form of uh, effect within the game and he had a green ui on his subclass like effects so he had a green grenade green melee and a green super icon which then led to the reveal of strand and now in more recent times we've seen a similar leak go about uh, where this person's showing off a brand new transmat effect and they have brand new uh, red subclass ui with new icons new red color scheme uh, and all that so Considering the fact that this kind of uh, leak went about before Strand came out and then confirmed it to be Strand, uh, kind of believing this leak to kind of be the same deal where they've been developing a red subclass and this could potentially be coming in with one of the uh, new expansions on the horizon. Now, how would this actually work in terms of story stuff? Well, we're going to kind of speculate now on how that could work because obviously uh, right now in the story we are focused on episode 2 Revenant which is focused around Fickrel and then episode 3 which is coming beginning of next year I believe is going to be focused around uh, the Hive with episode 3 Heresy. Now a lot of people seem to think that Zivu is going to be playing a key part in that episode but inside of the Journey Ahead video uh, that they released a while back they stated that a new Eldritch threat will be uh, playing a part in that episode so i don't think that zivu will have as an important of a role in that episode itself because it feels like episodes are kind of a way of either 
wrapping up storylines or adding new ones to future expansions like we got with episode Echoes uh, where we saw a new Vex threat in the form of Maya Sunderash. So I feel like they're probably saving Zivu Araf for a future expansion like Apollo. And with us ending on a Hive storyline uh, before Apollo actually releases, it would make a lot of sense for that Hive storyline to then lead nicely into what Zivu Araf has planned, which I feel like is going to be something tied with this new subclass. Because last we left off with Zivu Araf, she was at a major disadvantage losing access to her throne world. So I feel like if she was to show her face again, she would need to come with some sort of backup plan and I feel like that said backup plan could be her using this brand new power to enforce her armies and kind of get revenge on us for what we did during Season of the Witch which was cut her off from her throne world and leave her unable to help in the fight against the Witness. Uh, in terms of what this new subclass could potentially do, I have no idea, I'm not a game dev developer but uh, going over some aspects that we know about previous darkness based subclasses there's this idea of emotions being tied to them if you look back to the lightfall campaign we were told to kind of chill out and go with the flow when using a uh, strand and then for stasis that's the kind of lack of emotion uh, so obviously ice cold not very much emotion going on strand all wavy you gotta chill out to kind of use it so with this brand new red subclass potentially a lot of people seem to be thinking of the idea of rage and anger which does suit uh, Zivu Araf very well with her being the Hive God of War. So I feel like that's just an easy tie-in there to kind of explain why this new subclass exists within this story. And then if we take a look at some of the concept art that we've gotten for the brand new destination coming with this expansion for Apollo at the very least. I don't know if anything of this is tied to Behemoth but I think it's all Apollo based. Uh, this planet looks war-torn. It looks like Zivu Araf has just come in and wrecked the entire planet basically or this could be where this new darkness power could be residing and Zivu Araf has just come and found it in its current state uh, obviously this is a concept art so subject to change uh, but it all looks very war-torn and abandoned and like something has just come in and absolutely wrecked shop uh, you can see like a boat in this first image where it's just kind of out in the middle of nowhere uh, you can also see just wreckage all over the place and I can just picture a angry empowered Zivu Araf with this new darkness energy just going through and destroying stuff. Uh, you also see huge spaceships that are now just left in ruin uh, and also these white kind of blimp looking ships uh, which I feel like could be kind of search and rescue uh, vessels from just the way they look. Uh, they look very polished and new uh, so could be something related to that and then also you see here uh, in the most recent concept art that was shown uh, civilization kind of huddling around in this temple looking place uh, living in tents so probably homes destroyed and they've come to reside in this one uh, remaining piece of architecture and just living within that as kind of a safe zone uh, so that could obviously tie into the story of Zivu Araf coming in and wrecking shop with her new powers now obviously this is all my speculation so none of this is confirmed but from just looking at the artwork itself that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from it and obviously we will not learn more about uh, the actual story of this place or whether or not we'll be getting a new subclass until probably much later into 2025, probably around the time when the expansion will be launching. And that's just my thoughts on it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you've got your own thoughts on a new subclass or what it could do or how it could tie into the story, be sure to leave them down in the comment section down below. That's it from me today basically. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one.